Did you see the news? Peru's president tried to um, suspend their parliament and overtake the government. Did you see what happened in Germany? They arrested people all over the country who were planning a coup, just like the folks who actually did perform the coup in the United States. Let's see how all this uh, is going to affect how we uh, come to justice in the U.S. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much just for watching. <laughs>
in the case of Peru, no matter who it was. In the case of Germany, they had <laughs> the fellow who was the descendant of the uh, royal family trying to be king again. So, uh, three cards right away. Okay, is the United States learning from what's happened in these two other countries specifically? Three cards. One, two, three. Is the United States learning now from what's happened in these other three countries? I'm not sure. First card is the Knight of Cups. Okay, so here's what's interesting here about the Knight of Cups. The Knight is the fellow who fights uh, in the royal court for the remit he's been giving, which in this case is a compassionate remit. So this is telling me that the United States is going to fat fight in a compassionate manner towards these folks. Interesting. Next card is the Page of Swords. Well, that's a good one because the page is the one who brings a message to the court. He brings a message of truth, justice, rules, and law. But sadly, he's not a knight, is he? He's a, he's a page. Third card is the two of coins finding a balance. Yep. Yeah. So this is what the United States is about. We show this this uh, person on um, at the edge of the ocean. Uh, this brings to mind with these uh, sailing ships out in the sea, you know, foreign lands. And uh, but here on our shores, we're looking to find a balance. So um, is the United States going to take a, a lesson from these other two countries? Well, we start out, and I'll put it in order that we drew them. We start out with the uh, Knight of Cups. First and foremost, we're going to be compassionate fighters. Next, we're going to be uh, we're going to listen to that page who's brought that message of truth, justice, rules, and law. Much weaker than a knight, but we're going to listen to that. And then, lastly, we're going to find a balance between all of that. Not very satisfying for me. Uh, I will kind of like what happened in Peru and in Germany. Uh, but that's the question we get for that. So is, was, is the United States going to be influenced? Um, let's say this. I want to know, did we know, did the United States know about Germany's um, months-long, if not years-long, plan to track down these insurrectionists? Okay, did, did the United States know about this plot that was going on in Germany? I don't know who in the United States, but did the United States know? Three cards. Well, these two wanted to come out together. I don't usually take them when they want to come out together, but I will this time. And we might draw another card based on how these cards have been reacting just now. So, did the United States know? Okay. This is the Ace of Swords. This is a big yes card. Ace is truth, justice, rules, and law. And you can see here that, see, this Ace of Swords, the handle of this sword, is a little bit obscured. They're reaching for that handle. So we knew that there was a reaching for that going on. That's what I think that means. Next card. King of Wands. Actions. Plans. Moving forward. Making something happen. Interest. Did we know? Did the United States know? Final card is the, um, ah, the priestess. So this is a compassionate component of that situation. So that's interesting. So did we know? Again, we'll put it in order that they were drawn. Did we know? Well, listen, I think we did. We knew that someone was reaching for the truth, justice, rules, and law, okay? Um, the king of wands. I think that this, uh, we knew how typically the this, uh, this country was going to react. Action. King of Wands is action. The, the action at the highest level. And then the uh, third one here with this high priestess is um, this brings a, a, an element of compassion into it again, which I don't know. I'm not looking for compassion for the criminals here, but that's probably my human failing. So, um, so we knew. We knew on some level what was going on um, overseas um, so let's ask this now that uh, all of this has come out in these other Peru, Peru specifically I mean they didn't mess around the guy went on TV like our guy had gone on TV he went on TV and threatened to suspend 
or just told of his plan to suspend the parliament. He didn't threaten. This was the plan he was having. And um, and the, the Peruvians were having none of it. They shut it down immediately, put him in jail that afternoon. Germany, I think this was a long investigation. They went about it in a bit more of a civilized, if you want to say that, uh, manner. But they didn't fail to arrest the people who were involved, including people in the government. It didn't happen to be their president, <laughs> but, um, but that's what happened. Just shows you uh, our government under Trump was being handled like a banana republic. Uh, more something that you would expect to see in South America. I'm sorry if you're from South America. I have family from South America. and But let's face it, it's a pot of political problems down there. And uh, it, it, it just depicts to me um, a part of the continent that is so struggling to get their political situation under some kind of control. But, but back to the United States. So are these are these very real occurrences. And we're going to be reading about the, the, the success of these uh, prosecutions in our newspaper. We're going to be comparing it to what we're doing. So are these situations overseas going to have a significant effect on what's happening to us here as far as prosecuting these criminal politicians and a criminal ex-president? Uh, diet across six cards. Might go more. We'll see. So six cards, one, two, three, four, five, six. Will these other countries' um, actions influence us? My head tells me no, but let's see what the cards say. Specifically, will the other countries' actions influence us? Okay, so the first one up is the chariot. Well, this is interesting. For the first card, the signifier card of this reading to be the chariot, you know, the chariot is major arcana. It's number seven in the major arcana, and it's bringing things forward at a rapid pace. Next card, the challenge to that is this 10 of coins. The 10 of coins is uh, familial. You see here by this lioness nurturing her cubs and all the value of these coins here. The 10 of coins is familial or generational value or wealth. So the challenge to bringing this on quickly is, is um, taking care of our generational health, okay? The base of this reading is this uh, the priestess comes up again. I love when the cards repeat. It just tells me that the cards are understanding how I'm reading them, and so they're giving me signals that they know how I will interpret them. That's, that's how I feel. But anyway, so the base of this whole thing is the priestess. The priestess comes with compassion. She comes with love for her subjects. So the base of this is taking care of your subjects. The past of this oh, is the emperor. The past of this is Trump. The past of this is the man who would be emperor. The sky of this reading, what you can hope for in this, is the Six of Wands, and the Six of Wands is victory. And that's in the sky. So this does two things for me. It indicates, for me, what's in the sky here not only indicates what is, is to be aimed for, but because it's, they're tarot cards and we're looking at them to give us an insight into what's happening, it, uh, it, it portends perhaps what might actually happen in the future. So the, the Six of Wands, lots of actions, and it's a victory. Okay. And then the final outcome for whether what these other countries has done is going to influence how we handle what our problem is here at home is this Knight of Coins fighting for our value. And this, this is interesting. This is a female knight holding on her value on top of a very sensitive but powerful beast, okay? And look who it is. This is the symbol of the Republican Party, as a matter of fact. So this uh, knight of value is taming that beast and recognizing its core uh, humanity, uh, if you want to say that about an animal, could have humanity. Um, very interesting. I'm going to do four more cards. Um, yep. So what is the um, 
the very self of that question is as to whether what's happened in the other countries is influencing what we're doing here. First card up for the, the very self of the meaning of that question is uh, the King of Cups. By Before anything else, we're concerned with the compassion of the situation. And look, there's some prizes that come out of that. It's in the environment of what? It's in the environment of the five of coins being left out in the cold. Democracy was left out in the cold. The hopes and the fears for all of that. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is uh, turning away from something of emotional um, importance to you. And we can see that that's exactly what's happened here. This, this goose is flying off. Uh, I would presume in migration and recognize they have to leave behind some compassionate elements here. So interesting. And then the final card, final outcome, is the four of coins is holding on to our value. I love this reading. I'm going to read the whole thing over again and some other points have become clear in my head as I've been looking at this. Love this deck, these cards, these this draw for this question. So, are we going to learn from what's happened in the other countries and how they handled their uh, constitutional crises? Um, well, we come up with the chariot. Yeah, moving things along rapidly. I think we've already recognized it and we've already started that process. But it's challenged by what? It's challenged by maintaining that generational value. Okay, maintaining our core generational, what we're going to pass on from generation to generation, our values, and underscored by this high priestess which some might say let's why isn't it underscored by some sort of authority by some sort of of, of get this done but no it's underscored by the, the the compassion the nurturing that one has to have if you have an errant child um probably your your most important thought is should be to love that child through their issue the past of this then is the emperor and this is trump want to be emperor, he's in the past. In the sky of this is victory. So the actions, the plans, the forward movement that we're making will lead to victory. And it's all um, likely ending up with this knight of coins having tamed that what at its core is a compassionate beast. This female knight, who is that? Is it a future no, president? Is it uh, someone in the court? Is it a member of Congress? But this female knight has tamed this, what at its core is a compassionate beast, the symbol of the Republican Party, this elephant. Then uh, we say, what is the very sign signifier for that question, the very self of that question? Did we learn? Well, we start out here with the King of Cups. We somehow have taken away a message of maximum compassion for the issue. And it's challenged, uh, it's in the environment of this um, being left out in the cold, which is exactly uh, what happened. Uh, with our democracy and it's in the hopes of the fears we have this eight of cups which is understanding that sometimes you have to walk away from something of compassionate value to you but then the likely outcome of the whole thing is that we do hold on to our value we do hold on to what is uh, important to us and it's interesting that this person holding on looks like a jester looks like a fool who would be starting off on a new journey so i'm just going to leave it at that so I think it, it, it has inspired us to move and get this thing under control, but we're still going to do it with a flavor of what our country is, compassion. Well, that was the read. I hope it was interesting and I uh, hope it shed some light on how other folks take care of their problems and uh, maybe uh, how we can take care of our problems. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang Okay, so the Uncommon Tarot. This is uh, the Uncommon Tarot is by Shaheen uh, Miro, uh, who's an intuitive energy worker and artist with commentary by uh, Teresa Reed, who is the, known as the Tarot Lady from a lot of blogs, the websites, and podcasts. And Uncommon is even defined here. You can just barely see it, but it says uh, not ordinary, remarkably exceptional, sort of as you would see in a dictionary. Uh, so here we go. It's a nice box. Uh, it's got that nice little clasp, which you don't often see on a smaller, and it's like you might expect a perfume to come in this box. It's that kind of quality. Okay, and the material is really has a nice sheen. So it's a beautiful piece of packaging. You know, at least you felt like, um, you know, you're getting a little something for this. The um, inside does have that definition on this foil, silver uh, foil uh, thing, uh, uncommon how to pronounce, ordinary, remarkable, uh, exceptional. 
And then the book is really a nice little booklet. It's uh, personalized by the artist. It's got some good information in here about him and the tarot lady, uh, Teresa Reed. And um, a little story about why he decided to make these tarot cards, and it goes really back to his youth. Um, his mother, in front of her children, she would lay out a few tarot cards on the table and ask what they saw, and the cards became kind of a moving uh, picture book uh, for the family. And you'll see what I mean uh, with his design of these cards. Okay, I'll just put this away and put it back in there. So, uh oh, I think I've got some cards backwards here, just like I do. Okay, so they are, uh, as you can see, silver foil gilded. Um, and then they've got a nice weight to them. They're not particularly heavy. They're just about right, actually. And just a typical dark, kind of mysterious back. The front of the cards, though, is beautiful. The images go from, you know, edge to edge. It's a nice, glossy, deep, uh, quality feeling card with beautiful, rich colors. And uh, Shaheen's Un Uncommon Tarot is a contemporary re-imaging of the Rider Waite Tarot uh, with a collage work uh, melange, uh, rich with worldly people, uh, places and settings. I mean, you can see. So they're beautiful, beautiful cards. They're not hard to use because in the bottom it just tells you what that card is and then you get to take a minute and then pick out the elements in here that are pertinent to what you're uh, reading about. So a uh, beautiful card. This is always a good way to spread the cards out and get your energy into them or get them warmed up for the day or maybe you're working with somebody, your friends are sitting around, you can let them mix them up if you don't want to have them shuffle. And uh, so that is the Uncommon Tarot. Well, coming back tomorrow I'll be doing it all again so ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.